This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. We're going to be doing your consultation, got it. Woo! Oh. All right, well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in ring zodiac signs or birthdays. Ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're gonna be doing you a consultation. What that means for a lot of time about a reading, you can ask as many questions as you need to. Only thing I ask, if you don't ask any Arisha questions or ancestor questions, there are separate readings for them, okay? Um, can you say the first part again? Uh, starting from where, darling? Just want me to uh, just tell you all over again? Yeah, just a little bit. Can you look at me once? I want to make sure I can hear you. Like, you can run in the past and quit, and I don't want to miss something. All right, so uh, we're going to be doing you a consultation. What that means for a lot of time of the reading, you can ask as many questions as you may have during the time of that reading. But uh, don't ask any Arisha questions or ancestor questions. They are separate readings for those, okay? All right, now. All right, so I've taken the liberty of shuffling your card, say your first name or whatever it is you would like for me to call you so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yeah. All right, so what's your first question, darling? So my first question is, what do I need to do to maintain a positive relationship with my mother? Uh, spirit, you, you, spirit is hesitating on asking that question. So spirit, what you, why are you hesitating? Uh, Spirit say ask that question a different way not what can you do to maintain a positive relationship with your mother because they saying there's two parties involved so uh, ask that a different way what do I need to what I need to do to maintain a positive relationship with my mom is that better no that was the same question same verbatim believe it or not Spirit work okay. through that one work through that one Spirit I guess you want it I guess you're saying she want to keep things happy with her mom is there anything she need to change in herself to keep this going. Spirit said, let it go. Spirit said, Oshun energy, okay. Spirit said, artistic expression. They saying you just say the, the simple fact that you just haven't give, forgiven your mother for lying to you. Now, I don't know your circumstances or situation, but they said, let it go, Oshun energy and artistic expression. Evidently, your mother probably lied to you, said some off the wall shit, probably insulted you pretty bad. They saying, you you gotta forgive her for that. Okay, okay. Oh, that's it, you, uh, you can ask another question. If you, okay. if you satisfy with what Spirit said, just like, go straight to the next question. Okay, cool. Um, I need the three key fundamentals for, for me to achieve my divine femininity. Okay, sister, talk to me, talk to me like you talking to a friend. Don't talk to me like some space age guru man. I don't, that three key fundamental spirit is not going What's the three key fundamental? That's that's that internet stuff. Ask what's on your heart. How do I improve? Okay, push that to the side. So how can I um, master my masculine energy? Okay, so that's the first key fundamental. Spirit, how can so spirit? How can you map? How can you be uh, in your feminine energy, basically? Yes. Yes. Okay. The simple the question, the better. Okay, got it. Spirit, she want to know what can she do to get in her uh, feminine energy and master that motherfucker. Spirit said you got to trust. Spirit said thing with the fertility. And Spirit said see the truth about the children. So uh, are you a lesbian? Because why they, why they saying that you're rejecting children? I don't know. So are, do you have children? No, I don't. So why are you rejecting them? I can't have them. So you definitely can't, so you're not a lesbian. You just, you just think there's something going on with you personally that you can't have them. That's what I know. I'm telling you by a lot. Like the doctors say that I, like I went through like early menopause at like 31. Okay, so now I'm understanding what Spirit's saying because they said trust, fertility, and see the truth about the children. So basically, you're out of your feminine energy because you're upset because you can't have children. So if you want to embrace your feminine energy, you ever thought about adopting? Because they saying you need to have a motherly instance around you a mother a feeling of a female a compliment mother you know what i'm saying yeah 
This is the issue. Dog. That ain't gonna work. Hell, I got a cat. You got to think about adopting. They need you need to be taking care of flesh and blood babies. Sorry. Baron, I'm too old to adopt, right? I just turned 43 on Tuesday. So, yeah, you right in adoption ages. So if you wanna tap into that feminine energy, they saying you just need the mother of mother of human. You need the mother of baby. So if the doctor says you can't make them direct mama, cause you did the early menopause, consider adopting. Or uh, if not adopting, become like more of a babysitter or caregiver, you know what I'm saying? Just get, get around children and nurture them and rear them. Okay, okay, um, how is, is the job to me? I'll be more specific, is what job? Is the job I'm working at now? Is the job I'm gonna get tomorrow? Job I put in application? You have to be very direct. The job I'm working at now, is it for me? Uh, Spirit, is the is she is the job that she's at right now a good fit for her? Spirit says spiritual laws of attraction. Spirit said yes, uh, yes, it really is good for you. But, oh Lord, sister, you may yes. you may think me and Spirit getting on your ass, but I got to say it. I wouldn't be a good spiritualist by then. Why are you having such problems with people on this job? What is going on with you? They saying you shunning everybody like you're the antagonist. What's going on? Um. I don't know what the spirit is talking about because I'm honestly, I'm not having that issue at this job. You're not fighting with people. They say you're the antagonist, meaning people see you as an opposition or they're afraid to talk to you or afraid to interact with you on a regular day. That's not fighting. Um, I'm the only black woman on my team. I believe they would feel that way about me. That's, that's the, so the answer to the question that spirit just asked you, the reason why you're the antagonist on the job is because you're the only sister on your team. I mean, I don't, I know because I feel like they all like me. That's why I'm saying I don't know what the, what they're talking about because I'm well, very it's, So like it's me. not a, so then take, take them liking you. How do you feel about them white folks? The only black person, not being the only black person on the team. How do you feel about them? I mean, I don't, they're not of that much substance to me to feel for me to think about what they think about me the only person i care about about what he thinks of is my boss i guess not my peers and your boss is a great person to you he really is okay well they said this is the right job for you, but you are okay. being looked at as an antagonist. I don't know why you say it's, it's a color thing, but listen to what Spirit is saying. Maybe you can go in there and you can I you can identify the people in there that's causing everybody else to look at you as an antagonist. But so you I'm are being looked at. That, that way before, that was that way previously, but through my own method, you know, that person has been long removed. I did have that issue before but it's not like that now so i just want to clarify okay the energy is still lingering but yes this is a good job for you okay what about my love life be more direct you gotta be so, you gotta anchor spirit to something okay so as far as black star is concerned do i need to keep that going with him or do i need to cut it off <laughs> that's his name shit i got a porn name like that just keep it going <laughs> here you go that's all right i'm finna be good i'm finna i'm finna be good so you don't remember their name? I do. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. Uh, but, I, but when I refer to this individual, I call him by the name I give him. Oh. Not by the name Sophie. Is it? Damn! I told you this man's name is this. <laughs> Spirit, can she continue fucking with Black Star? Is he good for her? Damn. Spirit said prioritize. Spirit said clear and shield your energy. Spirit said twin flame. Mm. Yeah, y'all made for each other, but it's gonna be rough as fuck. It's gonna be a push and go, tug and pull, that type of energy. But yeah, right. yeah, Black Star is it? That's his stage name? Let me Google Black Star. Oh, God damn. What? You ready? Uh, I'm my head down, but I'm ready. All right, what about the, Fili the African Filipino? Uh, African Filipino man? No, a, uh, a, a dude from Africa, but he from Philly. <laughs> yeah, African Philly. Y'all done got y'all a whole authentic African, not that. <laughs> organic, baby, you know what I'm saying? The black and the berry, the sweet and the juice. Don't, don't sleep on us indigenous Negroes. Yeah. Now listen, I'll, 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 I
you walking out of my damn phone? What's going on with African Philly? Yo, you said I picked out to the gun. You said you don't want me to be all proper, all Google like. That's right. No. Nope. Well, you you damn sure keeping it cut. The spirit is enjoying your ass. African I'm enjoying the spirit. African Philly is uh, father, husband, brother, son. African Philly is where that, baby. I know African Philly. Yeah, that's what I play chess with. That's the only man I can play chess with. That's the only man I can play chess with. Well, they gave you the father-husband card, so... Yeah. Lock, go hours. ahead and try to lock African Philly ass down. Yeah, for hours. Unconditionally. Just y'all playing chess for hours or screwing for hours? Both. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My brother! Yes. Putting it down, Both. baby! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, you ready? Go ahead. Okay. What's going on with this fat man? <laughs> Why do you keep calling on him? Oh yeah, because I because it's cause it's cause he's a myth and this shit is unbelievable. What's going on with Fat Man? Fat Man. Let's take yeah. charge of the situation, fresh start, and offer. Spirit say, can you get anything out of Fat Man? Money. <laughs> nah. Nothing. Nothing that I ain't already getting in the States. Yeah, they just saying take charge of the situation, fresh start, and offer. Uh, they just saying that he's there for a purpose for a time. You can use him or something like that. I don't know what he brings. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. That's right. He's the person that I use to make sure that I'm okay when I go on foreign land. Okay. That's what I do. And he makes sure I'm good. Everything and anything. All across the board. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, sexually, and whatever it is. So you, take you, care. you take him with you when you travel? Yeah. Uh-huh. And y'all no, wonder. When and, I go to his foreign land. Oh, so when you go over there where he go, where he at? Yeah. So he your link when you go to the other country? Every time. Never, never miss a day. Who the hell are you, woman? <laughs> Ask the spirit. Is that your question? <laughs> no, are you working? Are you working? Are you one of them FBI people, the, the, the government, the alphabet people fucking with me? Cause I'm uh -huh. seeing the spirit and you're not lying. Today Friday? Yeah. Friday, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Not today. Oh, she said not today. That means you got the, you got <laughs> the weekend. Ask the spirit. Is that your question? <laughs> y'all scamming, man. I told y'all I don't want to be fucked up with them people. I'm a good person. I don't do no crime. Okay, I understand that. Are you ready for the next question? I am more than ready. All right, cool. Okay. So with my okay, so so spirit. So with my uh, spiritual. With my journey, um, I need to know what's the route I need to take for 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 my change. I'm trying to change something with me in my life, like as far as um, my hustling. I want my hustling personality and you know that that spirit, that fire. I want to be able to flip that and make it soft, but still get my point across if it's possible. So is it spirit? So so so. Uh... So, ask spirit, uh, well, I know what you're asking spirit, spirit, uh... Yeah, you know how to simplify it. Yeah, I got to simplify it. Uh, spirit, how can she get a better walk with you and, and have people understand her? Yeah, without having to come out of character. Yeah, spirit say release tension. Spirit said okay. detach from drama. Spirit said persistent. I told you, you got an attitude problem whether you know it or not. You very elitist. Boss lady mindset. Spirit say... You already got everything you need. You just got to release tension, detach from drama, and keep that energy, persistence. You just got to not talk down to people. Just like when you started this reading, don't Google chat me, goddammit. Say simple okay. shit. Well, I agree with you now that you're saying, like, the persistence, uh, the antagonizing thing you talked about. I have a way of... Um, I can when I switch it on and I'm confident about my shit and I I I'm, I can be a bit um how do I say it um I guess it's maybe part of the Napoleon complex I might talk to talk at someone as opposed to like talking with them That's you true. know what I mean mm -hmm. oh so don't worry working, just just like you did this reading we got it straight you good okay okay but you know but I. I but I'll give, I'll, give, I'll give you everything off my back. Without I know you, listen, that. spirits say you're a good person. That's why they say you're being looked at as an antagonist. You're not the antagonist. Okay, all right. It's my defense mechanism. It's like, what, what, sleep. You better sleep when you die. Mm-hmm. You, 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 yeah, you ain't sleeping at all. Three, three motherfuckers taking you around the world. 
Shit, you ain't you ain't had a wink of sleep in a, a couple months, baby. I ain't mad at you. Okay. <laughs> Take the power nap. I get it. Listen. Okay, so um, my next question is: Do I have anything to work on Yeah, please, because um, you just used the word so damn big, my nuts got hard. I know, and they like that. <laughs> they like that. Because I can, I, I can hit that spot, and I ain't even got to touch you. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, arrogant Negro here. What's the goddamn <laughs> simplify the damn question? <laughs> Now we rocking. Spirit, health reading. Let's get to it. What's going on with, with baby girl brain? Is she okay? Anything she need to know? Spirit said, stay focused. Spirit said, you can do it. And Spirit said, uh, stay focused. You can do it. Find the blessing in your current situation. You're going to be okay with this right here. Spirit said, you can do this. This brain operation, brain surgery, brain, anything is good. But I need for you to start uh, re research on how to take colloidal copper. Uh, we got to get a lot of toxins out the brain and we got to give your brain a better chance at healing. Your brain is made out of copper, believe it or not. So okay. you, you want to make sure you give your, your, your brain the best chance of recovering if they're going to cut inside your, your, your cholesterol. But yeah. Uh, yeah, co yeah, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, collided copper. I, I take it, I take both of them. I, okay, well, listen, don't you start spitting them Google names and stuff like that, big words on me. Colloidal, colloidal silver and colloidal copper. Yeah, do the goddamn shit. I want to take colloidal gold, too, but it's too expensive. Uh, okay, colloidal copper. All right, I take, um, uh, what you call it? Hology? Shilogy? Shilogy, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, I take that. And I've really noticed the difference on a lot of things. The next question, um, I'll get into that later when I schedule my next meeting with you. Okay. Um, my next one is going to be, how do I get this weight off? It's not bad, but it's, it's, it's getting in my way. Only thing that's really, it, it's, it, it's great because my ass is fatter, but, but everything else, I don't want the other stuff to be fat. Okay, so... How do you get the weight? How you get the weight off, right? Yeah. Spirit, she want to maintain her ass and uh and, and keep up. She want to keep the thickness, but she want to slim down. Get any any suggestions? She didn't. Don't don't let it fuck with the medication either. What you say? Spirit say power of joy. Spirit say go now. Power of joy, go now and balance career and home life. Spirit say the problem is you're working too much. It's your job that's stressing you out. You're gaining weight because of the job. You're gaining weight because of the work environment. The, that's why the weight yeah. there. The ass ain't gonna go nowhere. So surprisingly, the ass ain't gonna go nowhere. But if you okay. can like not eat out so much, not stress out, not eat them donuts up and shit. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I work from home. So I sit in front, I got five. Okay. Like, it looked like I'm sore fish out this beach. But I did ask for a um, treadmill for my birthday to go underneath my desk so that I would, I'm working for that plan, Spirit. Uh, rest assured, me, I heard you before you even spoke. Let me help you with this. So I'm finna just tell you a nice thing. Darling, working from home, you gotta develop discipline and only eat one time a day. I know okay. that's hard. That's You, okay. you ain't gotta okay. do all them treadmills and shit. When you go on your break, you take a 30 to 40 minute walk however long your break is around your apartment complex around your house up the neighborhood just be back at your computer time it right if you can get 20 minutes of walking in and you just eat one meal a day and cut your calories to under let's say 2000 2200 i guarantee all you're gonna keep your ass you're gonna keep your tits but that love handling shit gonna go that's what i've been doing for the past six months and i still maintain a solid 240 and I'm okay. slimming down around the waist area so you're good uh, yeah don't uh, don't don't be getting all them dietary supplements and pills and shit nah I don't I, the only thing I take is only th honestly the only thing I take is the shalogy I take um a slippery L because sometimes you know I, I, my bowels they be like funky not funky but I'm talking about like I, it'll just run right through me like there's, yeah. there's nothing like time to get up so Mm -hmm. the slippery elm I didn't even know what work on the other part of you know I worked on the front part oh, but yeah. I never had an issue with that you, but yeah slippery elm goodbye with some okra water you good girl okay good I also been doing the lemon balm 
just at the afford to eat at in the evening to like um relax relax my brain and to calm you know to unwind. Mm-hmm. So um, I've been using that, but I don't use anything else. Um, but and um, but no pharmaceutical, no prescription drugs, and they like are constantly asking me to like come in so they can evaluate me because they want to know how I have this thing. I have a shunt in my head because mm-hmm. I had brain surgery twice, so I have this thing in my head that pumps cerebral spinal fluid throughout right. my body. Yeah. For um for the, my entire life, so that's why I asked the question about the brain because I want to make sure I'm good because there are people that get the surgery and access like seven years they gotta go back underneath the device. But there's a lot of a lot of people that don't like they just they able to their body receives it they don't keep it rejecting it and they and they like they're okay. Yeah, copper copper is gonna do that. So basically, mm-hmm. spirit is just telling me you don't you're 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 you're. Your uh, your metals are not circulating in the body, correct? That's it. You gotta you gotta really go and get a, a test and see do you see how your iron is for your blood, see where your copper levels, your silver levels at, uh, uh, and that type of stuff. This is what you gotta do. Spirit say this is your biggest health issue. The metals aren't meddling. Okay. okay. All right. What's the mother? We got some more time. Okay. Cool. All right. Hold on. Now. I'm I'm only break that so bad. Okay, so, oh yeah, so do I have to calm down on any any of the three? Do uh, I have to fall back on any of the three that I named? Spirit. Batman, uh, African Philly, or Black Star? Do I need to fall back on either one of them? Spirit, should she fall back on any of the, the guys she's involved with? Spirit said, see the other person's point of view. Spirit said, communication. And Spirit said, health and healing. Which one has a me- which one has a medical issue? Cause he's he's having a medical issue. And Spirit say, don't stress him out so or don't screw him too hard. Oh, that's that man. Yeah, I I would I saw I saw a uh, 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 not a black penis, not like my my skin color, but a little lighter than me, like a paper bag or something. I saw that like Spirit say he he's really having a hard time getting it up like that. He's taking them pills. He supplements with other things. Okay, got yeah, okay. So- that ain't, that, that's not his strong point, but there's other parts of his body he knows how to use to make sure that he pleases me. Okay, so then spirit, right? Yeah, so but he's in bad health. Yeah, that I, but that's beyond my, that's beyond my. Pain. Well, then, goddamn it, spirit, say you, you want anything you need to worry about? Don't get a man a heart attack working him so. Shit, I can't help him being willing to help himself. No, don't have the man down there tucking too long, screwing too hard. This bitch just told you the man can't keep up. That, that's what that's what he likes to do. So, I, I told him to slow down. So you gonna kill him? You just gonna have him down there working himself, or you gonna he just gonna die in between your gut? At least I'll be able to resuscitate him. I'm a CPR certified. This nigga cold. This. <laughs> Give me, I'll bring him back. You a cold piece, boy. <laughs> That's the one you need to be careful. Of. Other ones you could. Alright, let's alright, next. You ready? Uh-huh. What about the X? What about the Libra? We're gonna call him the Libra. So the Libra, what what I mean, be more specific about him. What about okay. him? Okay. Is, is he coming back? Is he gonna is he coming back? Do you want I, him? I, I don't want him to come back and get me. The, I don't think you're gonna come back and get him, but he's gonna want me. And I, I don't want him. Okay, that. so do you so back you back. wanna know is he gonna spin the block trying to get you? Yeah, yeah he'll never let go. Spirit, what's the what's the intentions? What's the intention of the Libra? Spirit say peace offering. Thank you, God. Thank freedom, you. peace offering, and freedom. He he ain't coming back this time. He got. I know. Yeah, he done done. He, he done done. Uh, what? He he did what? It's been eleven years. Yeah. Eleven years. Brothers and bars get cold at night. Hopefully, he learned his lesson. Next, next, coming next. Yeah, go to the next one. We got a couple minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. All right, cool. So one meal a day, ten dollars. Over here. All right. And how do, how can I go about being international? International with what? Your job? Okay, screwing, man. I'm my bad. I want to. I'm gonna simplify. How? Do, what do I need to do to get my my house international? Okay, Spirit. How can she get property international? Property and international yeah, ground. There you go. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Spirit said, "Come out the closet." Oh, I, that's all. Oh, two cards popped out. Come out the closet. Spirit say, look in the mirror, choose peace. And spirit say, work your magic. The problem is, you got a little fear about moving or taking that stance. Spirit say, only thing you got to do is just apply for those positions you want. Apply for the house you want. Apply for the land grab, whatever. 
and do it. Spirit say, come out the closet, look in the mirror, choose peace. If you can just get out your own way, then you can work your magic. They saying you can be international tomorrow if you apply that way or, or move that way or move towards it, I should say. Okay. Um, I, I, know, I know what that means. I haven't gotten to that, that level at my job. It, it doesn't offer the opportunity, but in order to be remote, I have to be in the city. That's what they told me. Okay. Okay. Once so they have it. They haven't gave you a remote job, uh, working all, uh, a satellite job, working in another country, which, to which you would move. Uh, I think I could do Canada. That's about it. Yeah. 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 America Junior. You good? It's cold there. You know, I'm black. Man, them, it's some black people out there. Throw your ass on a coat and make that money. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. And I'm not against it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it because they have a they have caravana out there. I'm very big into the um the um the carnival scene. So that's something that's always been a bucket list. We gonna move into the next. Uh yeah, come on. Uh, give me give me about we went over a little bit. Give me about two more questions from you. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. Is there marriage? Spirit. No, it's... I'm sorry. My bad. Take that back. How do I get rid of my husband? What? What the fuck? Bro? You know what? I don't even want to ask. I don't, now that's five motherfuckers so far. Spirit. You know, my husband really don't count. My husband is, you know what I'm saying? I, he, he, my husband is it's a business relationship. We have an understanding with each other and that's what it is, but that time is come and gone and I need to, to know how do I get rid of it. Spirit, how can she get rid of her husband? How can she separate this energy? Spirit said positive change. What you mean, Spirit? Mother, wife, sister, daughter. Oh, he's finna get married again. He got somebody on the horizon. Yeah. Give it time. Spirit yes. say he yes. Spirit say he's gonna come to you and, and break away from you. Yes. Yes! Spirit, you are beautiful. You are all point. You heard me? Good Lord in heaven. <laughs> yes. Plus well, you gotta flip another card because you only told me two. It's one more. No, no, no. That's it just need to be two. Spirit tell you how many cards. Sometimes you throw one to get the message across. I just Fact checking, but no, he's going to uh, find somebody else. So positive Great. change and mother, wife, sister, daughter, he's gonna find somebody else. Perfect. You did an excellent job today. You know that. And it's three thirty-three. And it's my magic number. You're crazy. Anything else? Any questions? You're crazy, lady. I'm listen, but I'm not stupid. Damn right you ain't. You, you, I like you. You, you got some great energy. It's rough. It's rough when you try to come to talk condescending to people and stuff, but. Once you get out of that and you get comfortable with somebody, you all right, sister. Dang, you're not that bad yourself. I know that. Damn it, I'm a Leo, man. See? I got it See? Here, here we go. I'm here a, we go. I'm arrogant as shit. I told, I'm a sucker for a compliment, shit. It's all good. Uh, I got nothing but compliments for you because you're doing an excellent job. That's why I'm here. What did you say? Release? Mm -hmm. let, let go? Yeah. A couple of other things you said I had to do, so, but... No, you we'll just, start here. Yeah, just just release and get out your own way. Come out the closet, start doing what you gotta do, and you'll take off. You're supposed to be way further than where you are. It's just that you're in your own way right now. That's what Spirit said. And again, calm calm the condescending talk down. Cause people people are that's why they're looking at you as an antagonist because you're talking down to them in that office or you're talking at them, not with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's all. It could be, it, could, it ain't gonna say intimidating. It could be uh, hurtful. Mm. But some people ain't got a vocabulary or, a vocabulary or vernacular. Uh, but that's on, that's on, so now it's my fault? Yeah, believe it or not, yes. Can you hear that? It's, they, it's they our, no it's no our fault. It's our fault because we got to meet people on the level they are at. We can't we can't sit up there and preponderize and perplexize all the ad and then they don't know what the fuck we're talking about. They're gonna look like we speaking in computer code. Well, Google that shit. What you mean? Like no, alright, I'm I'm not saying I'm I'm being funny, but I, I'm 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 saying I understand. I got you. I don't want to. I don't like it, but nah, I'm, I mean, that's like, damn, why I gotta downsize my joy because niggas can't catch the fuck up. That just that in in a perfect world we all, cause uh, in a perfect world if we can all just say these big old words and everybody understood we wouldn't have nothing to really talk about. We have to simplify all our conferences, the conversation down to everybody in our circle, even the super smart ones, just so they can understand. 
that's just human nature altogether. So it just part, it just goes with the territory. But trust and believe, you're gonna be all right, 100%. From the whole brain surgery, all that shit, you are good. So, all right. Well, it was great talking to you. All right, but just, just listen. I gotta make another appointment. Um, my friend booked this one. You know my friend, don't you? I don't. Hey, darling. Well, it, uh, it it was really, really a pleasure. No, no job. It was really a pleasure talking to you. And uh, you know what I like to say? If you need to reach me, you know how. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Are you gonna post it? Uh, Are you gonna hear it online? Yes. So yeah. So okay then. Well, we'll talk later, darling. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye for now. All right, everybody, it started off a little rough because she used to talking them big old words. I understood it, but spirit didn't understand it because you got to simplify. But once we got flowing, we started flowing. Off panel, man, this sister is loaded. She is heavy. She is good. But spirit says she in her own way. All these dudes flocking to her, she can have a pick. It just life is good for her. And even with the whole thing with her, with her head, Spirit took care of that. So she ain't got nothing to worry about everybody. Get it sister some praise. She don't need to be prayed for. Just give her some praise. Cause she gon' she doing the damn thing, she gon' make it. Pause the comments below. Alright everybody, I am the Baron telling you guys to trust in you in the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul try. So somebody, somebody swallowing something to uh, go ahead. <coughs> yeah, spirit say, spirit say, somebody is being gluttonous, eating too much, drinking too much in that area. Whether that's you okay. or your triplet, just be mine. Okay. All right. Where's the Florida water? Let's throw some of this on my hand. <sighs> All right. So we gotta do a conversation with the Baron. No cards. Okay. So this is just an old conversation, huh? Yeah, well, I have a list of questions. Well, that I'm going to stop your candy butt right there. <laughs> a conversation with the Baron, no cars, is just talking to me. Yes, yes. So I'm going to teach you how to finesse this because I would typically, I got to be a hard ass, I would typically stop the reading and say, hey, that's a, con you, that's a consultation when you call okay. and ask questions. So a conversation with the Baron, even though you have a list of questions, you need to be saying it to me as if we're having a conversation because there's a different energy here that does okay. it. You got me? Yes, yep, I understand. All right, so let me shuffle your cards. All right. So, well, as you know, I am a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs and birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing you a conversation with the Baron. No cards. So what that means, spirit can choose to answer a question for you if they need to, but if okay. not, then we just talking about ice cream, purple hearts, and clothes and stars, whatever you want to talk about. Foot okay. fungus or uh, foot loose. Either way, it's a conversation. All right. So I've taken Liria shuffle shuffling these cards. Say your first name so I can pray on you. Do I have permission to cut them? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Talk to me. What are we talking about, darling? Okay, so I guess I'll say instead of questions, just situations happening in my life. Three different scenarios. One that has to do with my son, one that has to do with my finances, and then with my magic. Okay. Okay, so then with my son, so my son, his name is Trey, and he's three years old, mm -hmm. and he has autism. Mm -hmm. And I've been having multiple dreams of losing him. Mm. And my sister the other night had a similar dream, but she didn't know I've had at least five dreams in the past two years of losing my son in the dreams. And so my boyfriend said that Trey's real spirit might be lost somewhere and I'm trying to find him. Uh, let so, me see what's going on with this because I know when people say real spirit, they, the, you're born with your real spirit. You got okay. life with your real spirit reason why kids develop autism or any other kind of disability is because they chose in a spiritual sense to be that way to teach them a lesson okay. or to teach you a lesson how to be more compassionate from another lifetime another existence so i don't want you to think that uh, that ain't your baby his real spirit ain't that we're gonna work on this spirit um, what's going what's going on with with baby trey three years old anything you can tell me what's going on okay i see what you're saying spirit spirit say fresh start retreat with nature 
mother, wife, sister, daughter, and spirits say detach from drama. Okay, so uh, did you know that you was carrying an infection when you was pregnant with him? Some form of infection, sweetie? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. It was in, uh, how do you say? It was dormant. Like right. I, I thought, I guess, it had dealt with it before I got pregnant. Okay, yeah, I can see the infection. So this is why your son uh, has that energy because of the infection you carried. Now, what that infection was, I that don't say, it ain't my business. Okay. But I'm telling you what the card's saying. They saying herbal medicine, mother, wife, sister, daughter, and uh, detached from drama. So this came from you. So now what I'm more concerned about is spirit. Why is she having dreams of losing young Mr. Trey? Spirit said communication on a medical level. Spirit said meditation and prayer. Spirit said priorities. So let me tell you why you're you're sitting up here having these dreams and losing your baby. It's because you don't think that's your baby. So whatever hub, hubby said, throw that shit out the window. Tell him I said it if you need to. That is your son. If you're not gonna attach to that baby, then that goes away. Then that baby goes away. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so he's not trapped any place no 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 he he's not trapped no. yeah spirits say his soul is not trapped anywhere his soul is there that's his that's his choice or your choice that's the karmic link the problem is you have to accept the baby for what what's going on i feel like i do i feel like if anything my ex-husband well then, yeah okay then then that got to be something except so to let you know my son is autistic, high functioning. Matthew is 21 years old, 20, yeah, 21 this year. I've had him ever since he was six years old. Okay. They grow up, they grow out of it, mama. They grow out of it. So tell hubby, don't say his soul is somewhere else because you're killing, he, he, that energy is killing him, okay? Okay, that makes sense. Because oh. he, because there's been a few times Trey has said Sean Go. No, he said, he said Sean Go? Yeah, Sean Go. And he's nonverbal. So he so he says Shango. Yes. Is he so what's his what's your son's zodiac sign? Aquarius? Uh no, he was born January fourteenth. Okay, cause spirits say he's very close to an Aquarius. So yeah, yes. you, everything is right. I know that's Capricorn, but a little bit more he goes into Aquarius stage. See, I know I know I'm seeing it. He's supposed to have been an Aquarius, but he yes. came into uh he came early a little bit. So yes. that's the energy. See, I don't know you, mama. I'm telling you exactly what these spirits are talking to me about. I know. So listen, that energy right there, that is your son. Accept it. That is your husband's son. He needs to accept it. And uh, once he do, he's going to be okay. So the okay. baby will start to get better, okay? So, but the whole death thing, y'all, uh, somebody is pushing, because uh, Toph say somebody's pushing his energy away and nobody is anchoring the boy here. Okay. All right. Talk to me again. We got a little bit more time. Okay. So that, but him saying, but Trey saying Shango, that doesn't mean that Shango has a message for me. No, that's what Shango's saying. He's oh, that's, that's, he's telling you this is who resides inside that body with that baby. Okay. You want to piss off a king? No. Okay. Okay. So that was everything for Trey. So next would be that my divorce was finalized in March 2024. Mm -hmm. But my ex-husband, he still lives in the house that we bought together. Mm. He's supposed to buy me out, and then it will be his. So I guess when will I receive the money? Is it going to be this year or next year? Uh, spirit, what's going on with this? What you want her to know about this right here? What you want her to know about this right here? About this ex-husband money house shit? Spirit said freedom. Spirit said spiritual laws of attraction. And Spirit said, look in the mirror and choose peace. Uh, it's going to happen sooner than you think. It's going to happen sooner than you think. Uh, the kick says somebody is going to come get released back into the States. Somebody going to get released from jail or it's going to be like a release thing. Like when somebody comes home or come to, they're going to get freedom, liberty. So whatever that means to you in your world. But uh, it's going to be right after that person come home. Maybe he gets another woman and the woman say, yeah, I don't want to live in this shit. Get him, sell this bitch. It's going to be that energy. Oh, okay. But this is very soon, darling. Very soon. I can't give a date. They just show me a color. When I think about a date, they show me a color like aquamarine, ocean fairing. That could probably be hurricane season for us. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Um, and then I guess in alignment with the house and stuff, how 
I'm trying to figure out how to be financially free for my ex-husband because recently I lent my boyfriend $4,000 and it's been taking him a little while to pay me back. And so I just want to make sure he lands something good very soon so he can pay me back. So you, so, so basically you loaned your boyfriend a little bit of money. Yes. Four grand. But now you're in need of the four grand. Um, yes. Okay. But I'm sure he is able to land something good, not only so he can pay me back, so, but then he can be stable. But I guess I don't know if he's going to land something. I want him to land something better than what he's doing, whether that's, you know, in social work and personal training, fitness, or in truck driving. So Spirit says, why are your boyfriend asking these questions about himself? Because you're too invested in what he's doing. You're, so let me change it up. Spirit saying your boyfriend is allowing you to do the heavy lifting, sweet. He needs to be doing his own heavy lifting. You shouldn't be well, worried about that. That's what he's trying to do, and he's been trying to create abundance with his magic, but nothing's helped, and he feels like kind of like giving up. But then I don't that, have notice problems. what they're saying. Then that means he needs to get his ass in gear, and he needs to book a reading. He needs to talk to Spirit. He needs to see why his magic fall is flat. They not gonna do it for you because it's his life. Do you see what they're saying? Yes, but he has already. He booked a reading already? You already spoke to him. Well, and, okay then, who is this particular individual then? Right now, he, his blessings is coming. The message is still the same. You can't conversate for him. He has to do his <laughs> own thing. You can't do his heavy lifting. But I think it's cause I, I know he's capable of it. I want to He doesn't do sacrifices. He's in a position he can't do a sacrifice. He's going to have to fucking stop being afraid and kill something. He has the power in his hands. But he said it's not, I don't know, I mean, he didn't tell me, you know, the specifics of what you guys talked about, but he said it, it, that's the next step to, to do the chicken, but it's not time yet or something. It's not time because he's not in the right position to do it. Living situation. It's yes. Cedric. Because I told him he could do it here if he wanted, but he's oh. like, no, no. Then that's, now you see why spirits say he has you doing the heavy lifting. If you giving him a free place of non-judgment to do it, he just don't want to take the life of nothing. Oh, so like if he was, if he accepted, like he's saying, like. He there you go. If he accepted his goddamn role as a powerhouse in the spiritual world, he got it. Okay, okay. This message the same. I don't care if it's coming from President Barack. Ellie has more power than he gives himself credit for. He is just too damn cautious and he's too fucking kind. <laughs> well, yes, because he helps people all the time, but then he that, feels like not reciprocated. That's the problem. He needs to toughen the fuck up and step into his power and burn this shit down to the ground, which I know he can. Yeah, I know he can. So, Bottom line, he needs to just do the damn thing and he better not book a damn reading. He better just call me direct. He know what it is. Well, he said he texted you, okay? I text him back all the time. Me and, me, me and me, Ellie talk all the time. Yeah, because we did the same walls and stuff. Yeah. And walls and whatever, yeah. So, you stay out of his business. That's all I'm going to say. Next. Hey, okay, so next is, um... I've, I've been trying to figure out what my magic is and how I can access it. Spirit, what's her magic? How can she access this? What's her magic? Don't don't make it conflict with Ellie and don't have her do anything to boost his shit. What's her personal magic? Spirit said energy healing. Spirit said you can do it. There we go. Balanced career, home life. Spirit say hell, you supposed to be sitting up there doing like, like actually root work for people. Okay. This is your job. You sit up here trying to focus on magic as in how you can better yourself. You're missing the point. If you put yourself in work mode that do work for people, spell work for people, et cetera, et cetera, that balances everything for you. Okay. So, you're, so, but let me get to the type of magic. Your type of magic is called Delta. It's called Delta Flame. I don't know why they say it, Delta Flame, but your magic is called Delta Flame. Okay. So you better start fucking with that fire. Hot sauce, chili peppers, burning oh. shit, ash, shango energy, fire, 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 anything spicy, hot fire. Okay, okay. And will that, doing that kind of work also help me get in touch with my Kakusa? Yes, I think you really need to do that. And please keep shango at the forefront of everything you do. Oh, okay. Even when you're dealing with the lion energy of Kakusa, which is fire, by the way. Okay. 
So is Shango one of my Ori's? I don't do Ori's. I just say that he rocking with you and he's rocking with your son. I don't do, yes. I don't crowd. I could just see the energy around all both, all three of y'all. Shango is his too. Yes, I know that. So y'all got a family of Shango going on here. Work the fire, darling. Okay. Okay, because I've been having also other dreams with red smoke and black smoke. When it comes as a as a vapor or mist or smoke, this is the Shango energy. If it comes as a solid color, then this is with the door opener. This is like mist, smoke, that's, that's, that's movement, aerated, oxygenated. Yeah. But if it comes as a solid, then that's earth grounding. Yeah, it was a, it was a smoke. But one of the times it was a black smoke, I saw it, but it was, I guess, that next day Elvis told me he want, he was supposed to get a visitor, but I got it instead. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. They, they just working with you. You're going to be more adapted to use Shungo than Elvis. Elvis going to be more, El, Elvis got to get used to Ogun. Oh, okay. But Shungo does, is riding with him, the fire energy and the warrior energy. He just going to have to get used to it. And then, and then the fire energy to come into his play. Okay. Okay. I think that's it then. Okay. All right. Did you get what you need? Yeah. Unless they have any other messages for me. Uh, sure. Tell Ellie. Tell Ellie to go ahead and accept the baby and and and, and have and y'all pray to Shungo to burn that energy off that baby so he can be high functioning. His soul is not trapped. His soul is where it needs to be. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. Second thing I need to tell you. Also, could you kind of not stay away from mirrors? I need you to shine the light. Like take this, reflect the mirror, the, the, the light of the mirror from the sun directly onto the baby every now and then. So if the baby is sitting in the foyer, open up a window. When the sun hit the mirror, angle it and just shine the sun on the baby for about two, three minutes, you know, not make sure you don't get a sunburn. I don't know the, I don't know the melanin count in the baby, but just kind of put that sun, that sun as a refractor rate, it, it's going to do wonders. Don't put it directly in the sun. We need a reflection of it. Okay. And that's it. And you're good. Matter of fact, all y'all can do that. Matter of fact, you can shine the reflector on Ellie and he can shine the reflector on you. None of y'all can go directly into the sun. Because he doesn't like it. He doesn't like the sun. He doesn't like heat. There we go. See that spirit already telling you. You need the reflection of it. So in the cool house, reflect it on him because he needs the sun. That's a warrior's okay. cold. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I'm happy. You happy? And you got a blessed baby, and the baby gonna grow out of that thing. So y'all yeah. just really I know nurture. It's so special. It's so special. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Okay. All right, y'all be good. And congratulations on finding each other. Take care, Ellie, and I know he's going to take care of you. Oh, he always does, yes. All right, let me, ask, let me ask you a question. Are you in the gym and fitness like him? Yes. Okay, please keep it right. If I know anything about Ellie, he, he wants a fitness partner. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, <laughs> that's my dude. All right, you be good, sister. Okay, you too. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. All right, everybody. I'm, I had to cut out a lot of names, so I had to tell you what I call my homeboy. Uh, powerful brother. Powerful, good-hearted, good spirit. He just don't want to take the life of anything, and that's typically be the most powerful ones because they know once they cross that bridge, it's all over, and they can the spirit can work with them properly. So he's going to do what he got to do. They got that baby. I just had to correct them about that baby and now that baby's gonna grow up to be a conduit. Powerful, I can see little Matthew in that baby. Well, all in all, this is a great couple. They're gonna do right. They're gonna work work things out and I can appreciate this reading. Let me know what you think in the comments. Powerful, powerful comments below, Lord. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all, Soul Tribe. All right, let me start by putting some Florida water on my hands. All right, now let me go to this app and mark that we talking. Well, got you right here. All right, romantic love reading. We finna see what's going on. Yep. All right. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. 
We're gonna be doing your love reading. What that consists of is four uh, four houses. Your fifth house, your sixth house, your seventh house, and your ninth house. I explain to you each. I explain to you what each house be as you go along with the reading. Uh, you can ask a question after every house if that's what you want. If not, you don't. You don't have to. But when you get to that seventh house, you must ask that card a question because it's about the relationship, and that's the type of reading you got. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll take a little of shuffling your card. So your first name, whatever you want me to call you, so I can pray on you. Do I have permission to cut your card? Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna start with your first card, which is in your fifth house. Your fifth house is ruled by Leo and is governed by the sun. Your fifth house represents your sex life, entertainment, and love. It represents strictly courage, but we just gonna focus on sex life right now. Woo! Woo! Uh, I'm not tired of this spirit. So in your fifth house of sex life, entertainment, and love, you have uh, Obatala. Now having Obatala in here, he's kind of saying like he's burning down, and why he's using fire, I don't know. He, he's saying he's burning down the, uh, the he, oh, he's, burning away the impurities of your sexual escapades or hers but either way he's cleaning you guys up and he's saying we need to clean this shit up fast quick fast and hurry get it done right so now with him saying this he's saying do not fuck up again like if you're gonna do this don't cheat don't do nothing because he's working very hard to make sure this bond stay together so rather she got a heavy bat pass or rather you the one with the heavy pass He's cleaning your sexual energy up, your entertainment energy. Friends and old girlfriends is going out the way, old boyfriends are going out the way. He just said, don't don't, don't make him look stupid. Would you like to ask him a question? Uh, no, I need to ask a question. So you understand what he's talking about? Yes. All right, if y'all ain't in the threesomes and the hoopla's and everything else, don't you go out there. You better tell her don't go out there. <laughs> right. All right, let's go over to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economics, future money, prosperity, and wealth. Now, when we say future money, this is you can't be getting a relationship or love if ain't no money coming in. It's, it's asinine. But in this house right here, you have the outcast in the upright position. Spirit said y'all need to start taking chances because it's going to work. If you get with her, y'all go ahead and marry it, lock it down, relationship, however you do it. This is business starting. This is merging accounts. This is merging homes. Cause Spirit just showed me a sacrificial goat laid across the fire pit and the goat is being cooked for everybody to consume. Meaning, this is an offering. If y'all do this right, y'all can feed a nation. Oh, wow. So this is, you guys are very powerful with money. Is she a Capricorn or Aries? Aries. She's an Aries, right? Yes. Okay, I, I shouldn't have known that, right? Right. <laughs> I saw the horned goat. She'll, she'll take it down with you, man. She she bought that money. Spirit say she good. Take a chance with her. Her, her money business sense is going to grow, get even better. So good job. Would you like to ask this card a question about your finances, about your uh, finances in the relationship energy? Uh, nah, I need to ask questions about that. All right. Shit, Spirit got you on point, man. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go over here to your seventh house. It's the main house. Let's go over here to your seventh house. The seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating, uh, future romance and passion. In this house right here, you have the moon card in the upside down position. There is no lies being told in this relationship. She loves you, you love her. There is no fucking lies, bro. This is 100% honest. Yeah, facts. This is an honest fucking relationship. <laughs> I ain't seen one of these motherfuckers <laughs> in real life in 130,000 years. There is, wow. there is no heartbreak. The moon is upside down, bro. Wow. <laughs> the moon represents secrets. This bitch upside down, no broken heart. This is good. Good relationship, you chose good. Definitely, definitely. Now you gotta ask this card a question because it's your seventh house. All right, uh, when we, when will we meet? Oh, y'all distant love. Y'all distant love, yeah, when you meet yeah. Oh boy, damn, this is, all right, now you gonna have to do something explaining after this reading, we gonna talk. Spirit, when they gonna meet? Cause they, they both telling the truth and this girl is good for them and however the hell, whatever you done put together, burn it down this right here, when they gonna meet? Spirit says, stay focused. 
Spirit said positive change. Spirit said power of joy. Shit, will your money get right? It's coming. Don't you give up on her. I don't care how long it takes. This is you, man, all day. All right. Don't give up. I know it's hard. Don't give up. Where she, where she, where, where they at? Where she at? She's in Tennessee. Man, do you know the Tennessee got the best fucking women? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> them old Southern, them old Southern girl, Tennessee, Mississippi, all them down. Tennessee, yeah. Them, them women there, man, only thing they know is, 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 it's home stuff. They got a couple ratchets out there, but even the ratchet cooking clean. Yeah, she home body too. Yeah, this, this bitch hit the jackpot. I don't even like you. I, I ain't got no reason to be jealous, but what I'm seeing in these cars, I don't like you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm, I'm mad in a happy way. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good Lord, and the last card is even better. Right, let me stop, cause. Listen, we're going over to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Jupiter, and I mean ruled by Sagittarius, and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, what will come, what will come to you, all that stuff. In this house, you have the village card, but you have it in the upside down position. Bro, you don't get no better than this. If the village card was in the upright, this is everything burning down, chaos, houses on fire, people dead in the yard. You got this card upside down. Bro, you finna get the family you always wanted with this woman. Yes, so spirits say you're estranged with your family, but right now she gonna bring you family. This is the home that you always wanted, brother. All right, that's just what I wanna hear. I can't make, I'm freaking the hell out. Would you like to ask this card a question? Nah, I'm good on that. Damn, this is the quickest love damn read I done did. <laughs> I just need to know for sure, man. I always go to spirit because I've been in a relationship prior to this and it didn't work out. Similar, similar cases, but this girl was from Florida. No, no, no. Florida got farm women, but we tough down here, man. Right. We tough in Florida, but you go to, to the backwoods of Tennessee, Mississippi, them the real, them the real thoroughbreds, bro. Them the real ones that, you know, they, they understand. Right. Good Lord, I'm looking at the car, bro. Even Obatala said he cleaning up the whole sexual energy. So even if she was in the small town, man, and you know, she had three or four boyfriends, you know how women do in the small town, everybody know everybody. Right, right. Bro, he said he cleaning that all up. Her mind is totally different. Yes. This is good. This is a good relationship. This is good. Man, ask a question. God damn, they, don't do me like this. Cause this is too good to be true. Ask something, man. God. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, thank you, thank you. Spirit, should I move there with her? Should she move with me? Should we get a house there? Well, should she well, get a spirit, house there? Should she come move here with me to New York? That was the plan, but we want to see what Spirit going to say. There we go. See, I'm going to help you out. All right. <laughs> I got your back, brother. We <laughs> I'm, I'm the real deal. Spirit, Spirit, what's going on? Is it in the best interest for her to move with him? Uh, move up there to New York with him or vice versa? Let's talk. Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Okay, got it. Spirit said, peace offering. And Spirit said, see the truth about the children. Uh-oh. Take charge of the situation, peace offering, and see the truth about the children. Spirit said, you're going to have to do dual travel. So I think uh, from what they showed me, y'all going to have two houses. Y'all going to have a place down there and a place in New York. But I'm thinking from what they showed me, from what they showed me, New York is going to be the vacation spot. Ten of the, uh, down south is going to be your new home. But up north, north is going to be the vacation spot to get away. Right. And trust me, the rent is much, much cheaper down there, bro. Take, oh, the, yeah. take the damn hint. I know that for a fact. New York is a killer. Yeah, New York shit is killer. And you don't want to expose her. Listen to me good. You don't want to expose that woman, that country girl, to that New York fad lifestyle year round. You know, you want to still keep her with her home morals. So right. keep, keep, your, keep your flat, your apartment, however you got going on up there. Make that. If you can afford it, make that your vacation spot, your show off spot, your get away from the bullshit spot. But get your ass down there in the south, get you a house with that woman, build. Don't build it in her hometown. We're gonna right. go a couple miles away from her hometown, two cities over. Right. You don't want it in a backyard. But again, it's best that spirits say take charge of the situation. Peace offering is the key. Allow or for her to experience the, the, the New York energy. But also, she a homebody. You don't want her to get too loose, too ratchet, too rodeo drive. And then they right. said, see the truth about the children. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing some children in play. Okay. She got children? I, I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
I don't know. I, I know. Are you looking to make babies? She, 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 uh, she's a model, so she works out every day. I'm pretty sure she can have babies. <laughs> Okay, they say see the truth about the children. I think she's gonna get her pregnant. Now if she were, if she a fitness model, man, you better make sure you get her back on track. Uh, uh uh don't get her pregnant until she get her career and get everything started. Cause they say right. you need to see the truth about the baby and then this is where that peace offer come in at. Take charge of the situation, get her back and forth, not have a be going back and forth. Uh peace offering. Don't try to make no babies no time soon. They say see the truth about the babies. Okay. So let her get her career jump started. You do your thing, but this is a win-win, man, for you and her. Both of y'all finna benefit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do Thanks she? Do that. she? Do she watch my channel? Do I? Do I need to post this video? Or what? Yeah, you can post it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can say, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can post that. <laughs> Bro, I can say, I can say, I'm happy for you, but I'm gonna say I'm mad at you. What I'm saying? <laughs> I'm jealous. I, I'm jealous. Congratulations, big brother. <laughs> God damn, how the fuck you get all the way down there to get one of them, man? Man, we met, we met through the internet, man. I got another reading, they said it was, it, it, she was there, like, we, we was together in the past life. That's what I, I was trying to figure out what was going on. I said, you get another reading from another person, see if I find out anything else. That's probably why... Before. That's probably why Obatala here in the sex life entertainment and look, he's burning away all that other shit. Cause y'all was past life and y'all done had that time and they, he burning all that shit away. I never see Obatala use fire. He burning, he was using fire, burning that energy away. Man, this show, you done found your person again. Good job. Yeah. Invite me yeah. to the motherfucking web, man. I bring gifts. Shit, I bring cash. Envelopes. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna get you no toaster. I bring cash. Fight me to the wedding. Yeah, that's what I'm bringing. I'm coming with various gifts. Don't you come to my wedding with no motherfucking toaster, no knife set. Put the cash on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, bro. I ain't gonna hold you too long. Hey, man, I appreciate this. And good job, All right, bro. Man. Thank you again, man. All right, and you have your good one. All right. Mm hmm. Everybody, I had to kick a little fun with him. Listen, this brother done locked up. They they found each other again. Past life reunited. They found each other again. I'm ecstatic about this. Positive comments below. This brother got his rib again. She got her bow heads again, and this is a good thing. So clap it up for him. I'm the Baron telling God to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.